Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to the This Calls for Confetti YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to discover creative ways to repurpose Halloween and Christmas dies for Valentine's Day cards using our candy corn starter kit, our Boo die set, and Fala La Word die. I'm gonna share some tips and tricks along the way, plus we've got a free printable for you. And if you're new here and you like what you see, how about hit that subscribe button and share our channel. It helps spread the word about this cause for confetti. Now I've taken our candy corn starter kit and Boo die set and whipped up some unique Valentine cards by just switching the shaker mix and popping in fun sayings. So let's start there. With the sentiments, it's the easiest way to give any themed item a makeover. From Don't Yuck My Yum, we now have Cupid's Candy, You're the Sweetest, or even I Love You More Than Candy Corn. And look, if you add white, pink, and red polymer clay hearts or confetti to that shaker pouch, voila, our candy corn kit turns into a unique Valentine's Day card. Same thing applies to this ghost card, the punny, I'm haunting for a Valentine, will you be mine? Along with the loved themed paper creates an up-to-date look on a very vintage idea. And since we're on the topic of sentiments, my latest free printable is here. You can use the left side with the brand new chatty die and the right side if you don't have that chatty die. Now this is a great time to remind you to sign up for our emails over on our website so you don't miss out on these free printables, new releases, inspiration, and more. If you haven't checked out last week's video, it covers the chatty A2 cover plate die and stencil and it walks you through using the free printable plus tips on foiling if you print with a laser printer. I have that linked right up top for you. Before we move into creating, I would like to share a few of our holiday paper pads with patterns you can use throughout the year, starting with our most popular Christmas post paper pad. It has a few blush and gray patterns, plus plaids that are perfect for our love themed cards. Next, we have our Boo paper pad, which comes with two plaids that are easy to use for everyday cards. The Fa La La Word Die makes a fun and easy way to create an Ooh La La card. Now I thought it was a no brainer to pair this fun patterned paper with the lips and infinity shaker cards seem to be my thing right now. They're quick and easy to create with our A2 full front shaker pockets. And if you struggle with the infinity shaker cards, check out my last video for some tips and tricks on how to use them. With the infinity shaker added to your card base, this comes together quickly by simply adding the die cut la la from our word die set and a printed ooh, which I die cut with our chatty cover plate die, or you can simply use a paper trimmer and trim it out. Now on the free printable I have ooh a couple of times on there but it's a different font than what I've used on this card here. That brings us to this cutie. I feel it's important to share a non shaker card with you because maybe you don't have shaker pouch starter kits or our full front shaker pockets but the idea here is to get you thinking about Halloween and other holiday products whether you're using this cost for confetti or another brand you can make something new. So I used our boo die set to create this adorable ghost. Let's get into this. So I used our Boo die set to create this adorable ghost. I simply cut the ghost from white and black cardstock. I did several layers of each so that I could use my liquid glue and stack the pieces together to create some dimension. I also used the love pattern paper. I had a small piece of paper left over from a card I'd created and I used that to cut out his little love bow tie. I just think it is so cute. Right now, I'm just trying to decide on which one of these uh, die cut sentiments from that free printable I want to use with him. And I think I'm gonna do, do I have a ghost of a chance uh, with you? I just think that's so cute. Now, before we go ahead and start to put the card together, I decided I wanted to use my chatty stencil and create a ghostly background with this. I did this on the uh, little girl version of this card and I love the way that it looked. So I wanted to try to take it a little bit further with this one. So I'm using, like I said, the chatty stencil and I have Simon Says Stamp Fog and Smoke Dye inks along with a Simon Blender brush. And you can see I've just laid the ink down over that stencil, shifted the stencil around and then added more ink, just creating layer on top of layer. And because we're using dye inks, it does give it that um, translucent or transparent look to the layers. 
which gives it that ghostly look to me. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Now I am going to come in and add a piece of plaid paper to this. I picked a piece from the Christmas Post paper pad and we're going to cut it down to fit on the right side of the card like you saw in the sample. Now our Christmas Post paper pad was very popular. You guys are still requesting it and it is coming back in stock. It'll be back in at the end of next week. So that means hopefully we'll have it in the shop by the weekend and definitely by Monday at the latest. So we're excited for that and we're excited that you guys love that paper pad that much. Here's the card. We just need to adhere the pieces and I'm going to use our brand of low profile foam adhesives. We have them in strips, circles, and also in squares. The circles and the squares come in two different sizes in each pack. You get a larger and a smaller size in that. And just remember, these are low profile. So I don't recommend these for creating shaker cards with our A2 acetate sheets, but it's great for adding a little bit of dimension to your card or layering pieces like I'm doing here. So here we have that little girl boo version of this. I think she is the sweetest thing. You saw her at the beginning. Um, and I used our heart shaker pouch for that. Unfortunately, you guys have bought us out of those and we're trying to get them back in and we will keep you notified of when those come back in stock. You can substitute that heart with one of our little round shaker pouches. Those work great on this ghost as well. Also, our little square ones would work on this too, but I think the round and the heart are really go best with this little ghost. So I also want to give you one last look at our candy corn that we created for Valentine's Day. I think it might be my favorite. It's just so different, but I love that white, pink, and red ombre in the candy corn shaker pouch. We have those available in the shop, so if you would like to pick those up. All the supplies I've used are listed down below. Let me know what you think of these ideas in the comments below. I love to read your feedback. Um, I hope you take advantage of that free printable and you create your own unique Valentine cards with them. Also, don't forget to hop over to our website, subscribe for our email so you don't miss out on the free printables, on new releases, and other information that's coming out. And if you're Using our products, be sure to join us in our Facebook group, This Calls for Confetti, and be sure to tag us, hashtag This Calls for underscore confetti on Instagram. The products I've used are linked down below, as I mentioned just a second ago. Be sure to join me back here next week as I share the Daily Grind collection. I have samples, or we're going to create a card or two during the video. Until then, please take care.